Welcome to another edition of Jacqueline of All Trades. And today we have a beautiful cake. No, I'm kidding. This is black African soap. And it looks like an amazing fruit cake, uh, but actually soap. And what we're doing today is we're cleaning all of these brushes. Now, what I've been doing is I've been using the brushes and then setting them aside so I could clean them later. And today, later has come. So the reason why I'm going to be using black African soap is because while this soap has a lot of she butter, it actually tends to strip the skin. So it's an excellent way for us to clean our, our brushes and our sponges, by the way. And so if you don't have black African soap in your house, you can also use pears at the dollar store. They're $1, they're sort of transparent bars. And those also do a very good job of cleaning any oils and residues in your, in your brushes. So I also wanna let you know, um, what I did was I cut a sliver of the soap, put it on a, on a bowl, this is a disposable bowl. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wet it with a tiny bit of water. And then we're gonna grab one brush at a time and we are just going to scrub it together. And then once that's done, what we will do is um, we'll rinse them off and then put them to dry. And I'm gonna show you my improvised drying rack. And this is my um, Christmas tree baking pan that I turned it over and it just happens to be a perfect place to lay my brushes to dry. And when you dry your brushes, you want to make sure that they are hanging this way uh, with the um, smooth part down. That way the glue doesn't come off from them. So I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna do one and then um, it's basically then I'm just gonna repeat the process for all of them. Um, I hope this is helpful and um, just really quickly, you can see the stuff that starts coming out. It's not the soap, interestingly enough, it's actually all the stuff coming out from the, from the brush. I believe this must have been um, like a foundation powder face brush. That's at least what I used it for. So once that's um, clean, clean, here, I'm just gonna do this really quickly. And it's out of camera, but you can kind of see I'm just creating a lather. And just, uh, and then I'm going to rinse it in water right here and I make sure that I don't submerge the whole thing. But you can see the water was clear and now it's getting all cloudy because all the stuff is coming out. So once we're done with this, um, we're just gonna put it to dry and I will repeat the same process over and over again. Already, I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you the next time. Bye.